Hi, this is Mrs. Jeffers, and I'm here with our part two of learning about creativity. So let's get started. So let's review from before. Ready, fluency, many ideas, flexibility, different groups of ideas, elaboration, piggyback, adding details, and originality, unusual ideas. Excellent. All right. So yesterday or the last time we got together, you um, did some things kind of as a group. So today what we're going to do is do a little bit more practice because, you know, anytime you want to get better at something, you have to practice, correct? So let's practice. So the supplies for this part of the workshop, you are going to need three post-its, um, post-it notes or three inch by three inch squares of paper for each child. So each one of you needs three of those. You're going to need a pencil and you're going to need one Ziploc bag with five post-it notes or five papers in each bag for, um, for some homework. Okay. All right. So let's get that together. If you need to pause the video, you can. All right. The rules for brainstorming. Okay, so we like to use WWPDQ. It's kind of a catchy phrase, WWPDQ. And these are the things that you're going to remember when you're brainstorming. So the first thing we want you to remember is welcome all ideas. When you are brainstorming a problem, whether it's a little problem or a big problem, and you are in the brainstorming stage where you're listing all the ideas you have, we welcome every idea. Okay, we love lots of ideas and we want you to welcome all of those. The next thing I want you to remember is we like wild ideas. And so here we say wild ideas are encouraged. And let me tell you why. Wild ideas sometimes sound like they're impossible when they're first said out loud, but sometimes wild ideas lead you to an idea that will work. And so you want to encourage those wild ideas. One time I was brainstorming something with my mom and we were adults at the time. And she said that when I gave her an idea, she said that won't work but we were able to make it work and that wild idea ended up solving a big problem we had. So welcome those wild ideas, welcome all ideas. The other thing is piggyback off of your ideas or others' ideas. So remember we talked about elaboration, how when we piggyback off of an idea, we see an idea, we like it, we add to it or change it a little bit. Piggybacking is a great way to get more ideas. Details. Make sure you add details to your ideas. That's a really important thing when we're brainstorming to make sure details are added. And then the last thing is quantity. We want lots and lots of ideas. Quality. Sometimes people get confused. They're like, we only want good ideas. But actually, when we're brainstorming, we want every idea. And then later we can decide what's good or what we can use. So WWPDQ. So let's see what challenge we have for you today. I would like you to brainstorm things that you can wear on your feet. So remember those three pieces of paper you had or the three post-it notes you had? On each one of those notes or pieces of paper, I want you to brainstorm something that can be that you can wear on your feet okay so i'd love to have three different pieces of paper with three different ideas and if you could give me a title of what you're drawing that would be great tell me about it okay i love interesting titles okay something that um, gives me some information about the object and also when i'm asking you to draw something you don't have to be the best artist in the world. What I'm looking at are your ideas. So you just do the very best you can and that will be plenty. So I want you to write an idea and give me a little title right underneath it. Tell me what it is. All right, so go ahead and pause the video while you draw those three things. All right, welcome back. 
Ooh, I can't wait to see what you've drawn. Let me show you some of the things that we drew or we brainstormed. We said boots. Raise your hand if you had someone that wrote down boots. Excellent. If you told me a type of boot, like if you said rain boot, or if you said um, black suede boots, oh, that means you're adding details. Good job. Slippers. Now, I like slippers, but it would have been even better if you would have said like grandma's fluffy slippers or Susie's purple slippers. Give me those details. Add details to it to really help me see it. We have socks. Again, that's a good idea, but what kind of socks? Are they wool socks? Are they striped socks? Are they socks with holes? What kind of socks? Ice skates, gym shoes, roller skates. See, we had all different types of ideas. We had polka dot rainbow or boots. Oh, that's a good way to put some detail into it. So I would like you to pause the video for a second, and I'd like you to share your ideas with each other. So go ahead and pause. Excellent, and glad to have you back. So when you're looking at those ideas, I bet you came up with some ideas that weren't on the list, and I love that. Let me show you how we took our list and we started to make some groups, like ice skates, roller skates, and skateboards. To me, those all fit in a book in a group. It's like things that you would do outside for fun. Um, we had boots right here, but you see this arrow? That shows that someone elaborated off of boots and said hiking boots by adding more details. Because even though they're both boots, one of them is hiking boots and one of them is plain boots. Um, some other things that we did right here, slippers and socks. We thought those would be things like you might wear at night. Oh, someone said you could put a cast on your foot, like you could wear a cast. Yeah, that's a different idea. So you see how we were, we're building off of each other. We're thinking about groups. So like when I said the ice skates, roller skates, and skateboards, what are some other things you might put on your feet that you would be outside playing with? Could you add anything to that group? All right, so talk with each other and see what ideas people brought in and if you hear an idea that you like please like raise your hand and give someone a compliment another thing we like to do in our classroom is we do this a lot and that means if someone has an idea that that you were thinking of and they say it out loud we do this and it says oh i was thinking of that too sometimes kids will say oh, he stole my idea well there is no way that another person can jump inside your brain and take an idea. No, 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 no. But you can have two brains that are thinking of a great idea at the same time. So if you do this, this lets everybody know that you were thinking of that idea too. Excellent. All right, I've got another challenge for you because remember we're practicing being more creative. The word I want you to think about is homes. I want you to draw on two more pieces of paper i want you to draw see if your teacher's got some more i'm going to pause the video and let your teacher pass out some more paper for you okay so i want you to take two pieces of paper and i'd like you to draw a, a home on one paper and a home on a second paper i definitely want a title on these papers i want you to draw your drawing and give me a title so what kind of home are you going to draw? I can't wait to see. So go ahead and draw those pictures now. And we're back. Glad to have you back. What did you draw? Did you draw um, a log cabin? Did you draw a mansion? Did you draw an anthill? Did you draw a bird's nest? Was it a cardinal's bird's nest? Was it a bluebird's bird's nest? Was it a cave for lions? A hotel that was a high rise? Was it a shoe? What could live in a shoe? How about the ocean? Oh my goodness, there are so many things that live in the ocean that can be a home for people. So look at all of these ideas. I want you to share your ideas with the group, and I want you to see if you 
can add some details to some of these ideas or add some details to the papers that you drew. Okay, good luck. Go ahead and share your ideas with each other, please. All right, and we are back. All right, so, whoa, we've done some really good practice in thinking of, um, of using our creative thinking. So for homework tonight, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take the Ziploc bag that has five pieces of paper in it, and I would like you to make, draw five more homes. Now, when you go back and look at this, you might see, oh, someone did a log cabin. So what are some other, when I think of a log cabin, I think of a home in the woods. So does that make you think of anything else? When I see a dog house, I think, oh, a home for an animal. What are some other homes for animals? So go through and see if you can add some ideas and I would like you to fill up that, that Ziploc bag with at least five homes and bring that back with you the next time we meet. So last, I want you to rem um, just practice one more time. Remember when we're brainstorming, fluency, many ideas, flexibility, different groups of ideas, elaboration, piggyback, adding details, and originality, unusual ideas. So see if you can get some unusual ideas in that list. All right, Miss Harrison is gonna be here next to share with you part three of our creativity workshop. Thanks guys.